we just let's just cut the shit here okay i think most movie reviewers are gonna have a hard time talking about this movie without addressing the reality that is this movie's a fantasy for little kids it's not a real horror movie and it could have been a great horror movie if they just had the balls to address the elephant in the room which is the future of dolls or whatever an ai is not making little nanny dolls for girls who lost their parents in car wrecks that's bullshit this whole movie is a joke the reality is the future of dolls is fuck dolls it's insane right oh don't i look nice biting my eyes isn't it pure perfection Megan. just for the record that future is already here so what's really gross about this movie is that everyone's going and taking their kids and stuff to see this fun killer doll movie and the reason it's so popular okay no one's gonna say this but me but you come here for the truth so i'm just telling you the fucking truth so you know turn this off if it offends you but it's reality the reason people like this movie and are so comfortable with it it's because the doll megan oh. is very um familiar okay and it's not because little girls grow up with dolls or whatever this doll this particular doll is very familiar because it's a fuck doll okay just get over it and the reality is even little kids know this that five years from now fuck dolls are going to be as common as iphones this is a the thing they've had them for like the last 10 15 years okay fuck dolls are the future little kids know it dads and moms know it especially loser people that look like me on the internet they know it because they're going to be replacing girlfriends and stuff so this whole movie's a missed opportunity i mean a complete fucking waste of time so this thing happened over christmas time it was really sad i don't i don't want to talk about it on my diehard christmas review stuff because i don't want to make people sad around christmas time but since christmas is over and all that bullshit i can just tell you the truth now this is 100 percent true right around christmas time for my mom wheeled her fat ass into my room and uh she was in her wheelchair crying and i was like jesus christ would you watch the whale she's like no baby no and she came in shut the door and she wanted to talk to me about something serious and my mom wheels her fat ass in my room like all the way and shuts the door it's like serious shit for a second i thought someone died or something but she was crying her eyes out and she came in here and she said she took this quiz thing on this facebook app thing right where you, you get on the facebook thing and you do this quiz where it pops up on the phone while she's out there watching colombo or whatever in the, in the living room and on the phone you she's on her facebook talking to my sisters and grandkids and all this stuff and she's on there and this thing pops up it's like this app thing this pop-up thing where it asks you questions and stuff. And, you know, I don't use any of this stuff, so she's, like, blowing my mind with all this technology shit. And this app thing on the Facebook thing, it's on a Facebook group fa app page thing, pops up, and it's, it's like a quiz to see how long you're going to live, right? You put in your age, location, occupation, um, general health stuff, like your weight and height and how much exercise you get and like levels of stress and all this sort of thing what you eat it's like this big long scientific quiz thing it took her like 10 minutes to do it or whatever she got on there and she told me that she's got five years to live because this thing she's 70 it says she's not going to be it says your maximum age and this thing is very scientific to a t tells you when you're going to die it's like a fucking final destination movie or some kind of horror thing and she was crying because it said she's going to be lived to be 75 because she's 70 and i was and i i almost started crying because it, it hit me. It dawned on me. Jesus Christ. My mom's going to be dead in five years. What am I going to do? I'm not going to have anywhere to live or do these reviews or anything. I'm going to be out on my ass. I'm not going to get that social security money. I can't go to the movies and my life's over. So basically she told me I had five years to live and then it got worse. She's like, I don't care about me. That's not why I'm crying. I did yours too. And she did mine. My heart just sunk. Because at that point, my, my bowl of cereal is gone. I was out of drinks. I didn't want to interrupt her to go to the kitchen to get more food and stuff. I was about to tell her to go. But I knew we were about to go get cheeseburgers and stuff because that's what we do on Saturdays before we go to Ruby Tuesdays at night. Doesn't matter. All that stuff aside, she told me she did mine. She typed in all my stuff and did all the science things and told them about my job and weight and all that stuff. And I'm 45, just turned 45, and it said my max age is 58. And that just hit me. That devastated me. It, like, ruined my whole fucking Christmas, New Year's thing. That I'm only going to be 58 is the oldest I'm going to be. So what the fuck am I even doing the Star Wars diet for and losing all this weight and getting smoking hot shit for? For what? doesn't matter. It says I cannot live older than 58. So I've got, like, 10 or 12 years left, whatever the math is on that stuff. So at this point, I'm having some kind of midlife crisis thing. I, I, I might just hang it all up or whatever. My mom's sitting here devastated, fat ass in a wheelchair, crying, crippled. She's only got five years left. She's crying. She told me what her plans were for Christmas this year. She had planned to get me a fuck doll for my Christmas. And uh, I've never heard my mom say, she literally said fuck 
Like I'm, I've never heard her say that before. She's usually she's an old fat Christian Southern lady. She doesn't curse a lot, but she kept saying it, it was really weird. She said she got together with with my uncles and stuff, and they put some money together, and they were going to get me a fuck doll because fuck dolls are the future and stuff. And it's like they got them realistic looking now, and they they hang out with you and sleep in your bed and do all kinds of shit that they're trying to. My mom said she's trying to get me ready. I need a girlfriend before I die. Okay, I need to experience that one time, get married and be happy and stuff. And the only way you're going to do that is get a fuck doll to practice on because they're very realistic. And if you practice on a fuck doll, then you'll build up the skills and confidence and stuff to go get a real woman before you die and stuff. And this all ties into the the Megan movie, trust me. So my mom said she wanted she wanted to get me a fuck doll. They're very expensive, but the main problem she had she had raised a couple thousand dollars through my uncles and stuff, and they were doing like a bake fund at church or whatever. All this stuff to raise me money to get me a fuck doll. And they were gonna get an Asian one and everything, just like I always wanted. But the main problem was my fear of dolls that I've had since I was a baby. When my uncle took me to see child's play and that like kind of ruined my life. So you know, she says she still had the money and that they could get the fuck doll for me. But I have to get over my fear of dolls. And I thought it was the sweetest thing ever. I just gave her a big hug in a wheelchair and I was like, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I think it's too late. <clears throat> Sometimes you just got to accept the facts of life and stuff. And it's just like, if God wanted me to have a fuck doll or a girlfriend or whatever, I would have had one by now. I'm 45. You got the money for the fuck doll, but we don't have enough money to take me to a therapist because I need, I would need traumatic therapy, PTSD stuff to help me to cope with dolls and things before I could have a fuck doll. And then, so if I can't get a fuck doll, then I can't get a girlfriend and a wife and I'm just gonna die fat and alone that's just reality mom then my mom handed me this pamphlet and it's uh it's a fucked all pamphlet thing the, the one that they were talking about getting this is the s1000 series and it's got all the things and tells you what it does and stuff it's really amazing technology my mom she already read it and she was going over with me and stuff she said that this fucked all it's very famous because you can it has a pop out pussy the pussy pops out of the doll and it's dishwasher safe so you can put the pussy in the dishwasher and it's like it's tits unscrew and i asked her about the mouth area and unfortunately, this is the cheap model, so you can't fuck the mouth, can't wash it or anything. It doesn't have a hole or anything, so that's not a big deal. But I asked her about the pussy part. My mom, I said, I got a baby. Mom, you know I got a baby dick. Am I going to be able to... How big is the pussy part on this thing? And she said, no, it's... This, this doll is made for, like, poor black people with giant cocks and stuff. So it'll definitely... The pussy part will definitely accommodate you, baby. Because, um... I know that little baby dick. It'll be fine in there. This is made for people with huge dicks and stuff. And you got a little tiny baby dick. So don't worry about that that pussy part. And I've already read the instruction stuff. We're going to get you a charge station and all kinds of stuff. Only thing now is you got to get that therapy stuff. Get over your fear of dolls or whatever. So we can get you that thing. And you can get, get your girlfriend started and get practicing and stuff. And then you get, get a wife and be happy. So let me tell you about this movie. So my brother took me to see this uh, mega movie. But I've been having really bad PTSD flashback things lately and stuff. So I didn't want to chance anything. So he, he wheeled me in my wheelchair and I had to wear my uh, mask. When we get in there, he wheels me in the theater. Remember, I still got my mask on because I got PTSD. I'm not looking at steps and throwing up and shitting myself and stuff. And he gets me in the handicap section. And before I take the blindfold off, I know it's like roaring the sound inside the theater. It's, it's loud. Like, holy shit, it's sold out? What's going on? For the stupid doll movie? And I was excited because I thought it was going to be a bunch of black people. My favorite thing is going to horror movies with a lot of blacks because they're like animals and they just throw in shit. They, they're so funny and they make the movie better or whatever. Talked about it a thousand times. But it wasn't black people. I took my mask off and I was just surrounded by smoking hot little girls for real i mean the theater is sold out hot teenage girls and their moms and their older sisters it was just so much fucking concentrated heat in there it was like a tuna melt in my face and in my mouth so they're just they're all over the place it's like they're like little fucking hot monkeys bouncing off the walls eating their candy corns and popsicles and dancing there were tiktok and they were billy eilish and they were fucking snapping and chatting and instagramming and dancing it was ridiculous there's 500 seats or whatever in this theater every one of them had their phones out and there were so many people you could the aisles were all full and i'm like in the handicap seat right in the front 
right with all my food and stuff so it's like they gotta squeeze by me because my, my legs are all out my food's up and stuff and one girl she, she was walking in with her friends and all of her smoking hot teenage friends and she stopped and leaned on my leg and looked up at she was looking up over me with like her tits hanging in my face and she's she was screaming at one of her friends she's like hey jordan brianna says you got a hot bod like that for real and she had like these little short shorts on that said lick me on her ass it's disgusting so i got all these mixed emotions and things running through my head right it's like i i'm scared of dolls i've never had a girlfriend but all my dream girls are in here at the same time and it was just overwhelming for real and i know people get upset when i talk about this but i'm, I'm talking about, i'm not into little girls okay i just say that because that's the way I'm conditioned or whatever. I'm not talking, I'm not literally talking about little girls. My dream, I'm talking about women. I like women, okay, that are 16, perfect. 16 year old women, little women. They're, you know, technically they're girls or whatever. Like I'm a, I'm a boy, you're a girl, let's do it, let's have babies. But I saw a lot of them are a little bit older, a little bit, a little too old for me, but it's okay, you know, right on the border there. And there was some, some of their older sisters and stuff. Those are the ones that were giving me the fuck me eyes because they had seen the, they'd seen the whale. I, I can tell if a chick seen the whale because the way she looks at me now. So a lot of the hotter 17, 18 year old ones were giving me the fuck me eyes and that was uncomfortable because it's like all these hot chicks are a little too old for me. Now they suddenly care and they give me the fuck me eyes because of the whale suddenly care in front of all these perfect 16 year olds like so i basically might as well be on one of those tv show reality things like the bachelor they got uh, they got hundreds of perfect 16 year olds that they're all wanting me or whatever and they got some of these older crusty bitches these 17 18 year olds giving me the fuck me eyes and they're all fighting in their minds in my mind everyone just wanted a piece of this because i was the only man in there you know real man not little bitch boy. You know, I'm the only guy in there not wearing a Dragon Ball Z shirt. So I would be lying if I said that that didn't really like cheer me up and make me feel better about myself and life and things and gave me like, it didn't give me a hard on or whatever because my dicks broke and there was no chance of it getting hard. But in my heart, it was hard. So I had a, I had an inside heart hard on in my heart you know what i mean i have a wood in my heart because it just made me feel good thinking all these chicks wanted to fuck me and stuff knowing that a couple weeks ago before that whale movie came out no one would ever give me the time of day so it made me think twice about being able to get a fucked doll and moving on with my life and stuff before i die half the time the stupid megan thing is about some fucking wacky bullshit science people that aren't funny this movie's supposed to be funny it's not it's retarded and so is everyone in here all these people suck no one cares the whole movie just sucks thinks it's some big comedy thing it's not it's a it's fucking stupid at the very end ed 209 from robocop shows up so the movie ended everyone's clapping and cheering and dancing and stuff and i'm sitting there and i got no food left i'm super depressed about all the stuff my mom told me what i just watched absolute fucking travesty but then all the hot little girls started to get up to exit and stuff and i just i'm, I'm up in my chair right right in the middle of the front row with the aisle because that's where the handicapped people sit and there's so many in there that they're like they're filing past me and they're like rubbing my legs and stuff you know not on purpose but they're like people are touching me some are falling over and grabbing my thigh and they're just there's all this energy and hot girl stuff just moving out like right across me it's like being in a hot shower you know what i mean they're just like bathing all over me they're just streaming through me on the way out and i just sat there smelling them and soaking it up it was just all like strawberry body sprays and hot smells and things and they just washed through me like a dream you know like I was taking a hot little girl bath I just sat there sucking it up my brother wanted to leave I said shut the fuck up just a few more seconds or whatever until they were all gone and the sound you could hear it in a distant faded out and then I was just alone sitting there smelling up the hotness All that heat slowly going away until all I was left with was the memories and the cold of the theater. So, done with Megan? What'd you guys think? Leave me a comment. I'm not gonna read it, don't care. They tell me to say that, I, I don't really care what you think, but I think the one thing we can agree on is, even if you're not into hot little girls and stuff, this doll is 10 times hotter than that Child's Play remake doll. 
Because that thing, that's the ugliest fucking thing I've ever seen. 